Lightning, let's talk about it. You gotta have lightning to have thunder in a thunderstorm, right? So let's talk about how it forms. Typical thunderstorm setup, you got that warm air rising. As that warm air rises, it develops into these thunderstorms. The higher you get, the colder it is. So all those water droplets, water vapors up into the clouds, they're freezing. That collision between water droplets falling and ice pellets rising and up and down and left and right and all around all those collisions well, they create this separation of charges, positives and negatives. And over time, you'll get those positives setting up on the tops of the clouds. You'll get the negatives setting up on the bottoms of the clouds and opposites attract, like trying to hold magnets apart, how they want to get together. Well, after those opposites are spread out, they're wanting to attract. You can get cloud to cloud lightning. You can also get cloud to ground lightning as those negatives on the bottom of the clouds are attracted to the positive charges at the surface. Well, all those positives are grouping up towards those clouds. The negatives are going to be running away from those and you can get a strike from the blue essentially outside of those thunderstorms. You can get negatively charged lightning strikes. So it doesn't even have to be raining where you are for lightning to strike. So let's talk safety. Lightning strikes are 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit. To put that in perspective, the surface of the sun is about 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. So five times hotter than the surface of the sun. Incredibly hot, you don't want to touch it, right? Lightning, super dangerous. So we want to get away from that. We want to get indoors. When thunder roars go indoors, you say it all the time, right? Lightning can strike even miles away from the thunderstorms as well. So if you can hear that thunder, you're close enough to get struck even if it's not raining or you're not under that storm, you still need to go indoors. And I know what you're thinking, water, pure water is a insulator, right? Well, pure water, pure is the key word there. We very rarely get pure water. There's other things in that water that is a conductor and it will conduct electricity. So you wanna stay out of water, you wanna stay away from metal objects, fences, poles, and you definitely wanna stay away from open fields. If you're the tallest thing around, you're the quickest route to complete that connection, those opposites attracting. So you want to be the shortest thing if you can. Best tip is going to be stay inside. That's why we always say when thunder roars, go indoors. I'm Power of Five, meteorologist Trent McGill.